don't really know what happened to this one got chewed off by something and carried away the seeds not in the soil at all so something got a nice meal I don't know if it'll throw up a sucker from the root system or not but it looks green for now anyways that happened a few days ago this one's got some black spots on it but otherwise looks okay This one's actually been showing its first leaves for a while now, over a week. They're almost gonna come out of the ground there. I don't think the seed's gonna come with it, casing. Like with the other ones. This one's in a tiny little pot, but that root is pushing, pushing away. Yeah, that's it for the pawpaws. The other two that are in there, I don't think are going to pop open. Doesn't look like there's any activity on them. And we'll see if that one makes it or not. But otherwise, we've got nine that are still, still going. Some other casualties here and there. A bunch of these have been knocked over by squirrels or birds. They're picking away at the moss and up here this oak they chewed off, broke off the top part, but the next two buds are starting to swell now. They dug up the walnut seed that was in here and chewed I had pruned it down quite a ways. It looks still alive, but then I guess that fresh sap attracted something and it chewed off two pieces, left this little stub. It does not look good. So I don't think the black walnut made it. I just tied down a couple branches here with some artificial sinew. This one was kind of curled in this way, so I just tried to Tried to pull it back a little. Yeah, anyways, it's not perfect, but whatever. Nice moving up towards the top now. These two were growing right next to each other. Pine's gonna burst. The other spruce is doing really well. This pine, the needles are coming out. They're extending. Most everything else is looking good. I dropped this one on the ground. It came out. All the roots were exposed. It looks still alive, maybe. This was my other indoor one. All the trees I had indoor are experiencing some leaf burn. And I think, you know, there was a little bit of frost one night when I first put them out. So some of them got some frost burn, but they're recovering. Everything's pushing out new, new leaves. You can see on this ficus, they're opening up. Even on the crown of thorns, the, the sun has turned everything red. All the old leaves are drying up and they're gonna fall off, but we've got new growth coming out everywhere. So I think this one will do well. I still have two cuttings from it in the house, but you know, these other ones definitely died off. So that's all I got left from my original ones. Raspberry in a pot doing really well.
maples in there tons of big leaves this spruce is really extending its new growth it's pretty awesome almost 10 centimeters long probably is 10 centimeters on some of those the little ones down here haven't extended very much but these lower branches are still alive so that's good to see I'll cut off you know some redundant branches and things there's a whole bunch of ants climbing up here oh, I just noticed that I wonder if they're just going after the sap maybe I don't think I see any scale or aphids or anything in there. I think they're just drinking the sap. Anyways, the apricot tree. This one is looking amazing. There's like 20 centimeters of new growth popping out of this thing everywhere. It's gone crazy. And there's just fruit galore. Tons, I'll probably have to thin some out. I don't want it to grow too much. It's still a fairly young tree. It's already leaning down quite heavily, these branches. I don't want it all to snap off. I did want to try and air layer that. I gotta do something soon anyways. Pear tree over here. Also has shot out tons of growth. Over 20 centimeters. I don't really see fruit forming. I'm not sure the flowers were pollinated. There's another one along the side of the house. So it would have been able to get cross-pollinated if it was, you know, old enough to produce fruit anyways. Maybe it's still a too young tree, maybe it's too small. I did a bunch of pruning in late winter, so maybe it didn't recover fully. Maybe it'll fruit next year, we'll see what happens. Tons of fruit on this apricot tree. The persimmon. Persimmon is leafing out really well. I don't know if that'll fruit this year. Grape leaves looking great. That's a different type of leaf than the other one growing. Roses coming up pretty well, but it looks like like this branch died off. Oh well. This is this is all new growth here again, over 20 centimeters already. It's only May 20th today. And over here, this is the grape, a nice grapevine that's gonna, I hope, get fruit. Hey Bonzo, what you doing? Tons of growth on that, over 20 centimeters on some of those new branches. Pretty sure these are the flowers. Maybe they're just fruit forming. I don't know if it flowers really first or if it just starts fruiting. We'll find out. Couple bumps on the leaves. I guess there's some insects and things hanging out in there. tree over here is doing awesome. It had these nice pale pink flowers. 
Hopefully we'll get some fruit out of that. Tons of leaf growth. You can see that new extension is long again, over 20 centimeters. Wow. That's all new right from there all the way to there. I'd say that's pushing 30 centimeters almost. That's wild. Rose of Sharon over here. This is that other type of grape. I'm just gonna snip all the dying dead leaves off this thing so the new ones can grow in and it looks a bit nicer. what came off. I'm gonna leave a few of these leaves on just for now. You can see the newer ones newer ones coming in there. Pull that one off. how heavy this long limb is getting already. All the fresh new growth that has come out of it. And all the apricots that are forming, getting big, weighing everything down. Those are right at a junction, so they're not weighing anything down, but there's big clusters everywhere. So I'm gonna thin it out a little bit separate them so that you know they're about at least a few centimeters apart more or less maybe a few clusters here and there Thin them out a little bit here. Some more work to do still. Take this one. Let's get on the other side. Still a fairly young tree. I want it to produce well next year also. So just making sure it's thinned out well enough that it can maximize growth next year. I'll leave those small ones clumped together. I need to need both hands for those ones. I'll have to bring it down towards me and then grab them. I'll show you the harvest afterwards. I've also got the other apricot tree over there that's got a bunch growing now. It's a pretty nice bounty. That's probably only about a quarter of the ones that are growing. Maybe a third. I left most of them on. You can see they're much more spaced out now. a couple that are pretty close together but it's also kind of an experiment for myself hopefully this big 
big branch doesn't split off before I get a chance to air layer it. Maybe I should prune some off the end so it doesn't get heavier. This is a spindle tree. Spindle tree of some kind. We have a few of them. Just a couple little pruning tasks to do. Pretty sure this birch is dead all the way back. Doesn't look like anything's growing at all down there. So I'm just gonna test it out first. Here. There might be a little bit of green in there. Can't get that to focus. Anyways. We'll see what happens there, but I'll put it down in the shade with that other one because this one had some leaves that were getting a little too sunburned. This thing's way dead. This birch, well, there's a couple little holes in the leaves there. Don't know what's forming those, but it might be getting a little bit too much sun also. Anyways, it's just growing to there. Nothing's coming out above it. It's dead right packed here. There might be a living vein. Sorry, a living bud. So I'll just chop it right there. Yeah, that one's definitely green in there. Maybe you can see it now. Almost. There it is. You can see that looks a little better than this does, although there's some green in there. This birch is out in the full sun, but it's doing pretty good. Lots of growth. Keep these two out and see how it goes. Everything else is going pretty good. This oak has a sucker coming out the soil there, even though there's two buds growing after the tip came off from a bird or something. This walnut, I don't think that's gonna make it. These maples are starting to get their second set of leaves balsam fir. Those buds are popping out. That looks great. Small pine. The other spruce. Sorry, the one spruce and then the other spruce. This one's extended out quite a bit more than the other ones so far. This one has small compact needles on its branches and this one's a bit fluffier I guess you could say no real movement on the cedars yet one other thing I want to do is clean up this pine a little bit down below it looks great you can see there's two candles on that branch two on that one two on that one I really like this main branch this one has yeah that's got two on it and then there's a tiny little one here. There's pretty much two candles coming out of everything, so I'm not going to touch everything that's grown well like that. The only candles I'm going to cut off are, you can see at the apex here, there's two good strong candles, and then there's this one that just has a really long kind of internode, whatever you want to call it, long candle before any needles form. So I'm just going to snip that off way down there and leave the other two to grow I'm also going to because there's no buds that have formed on these I said earlier last year when I first got the trees almost two years ago actually I pruned it up here naively you know just left a couple needles didn't prune to any live buds, so 
this little bud formed in the meantime, so I'm just gonna focus all the new growth into that bud rather than wasting anything going up. Same thing with this. No new buds up there, but there is that one down here, so let's just go like that. That looks good, that's good. There's just a little bit of dead there from the last time I pruned. That doesn't need to be perfect. And then there's just one more here. No buds coming there, but there's one down here. So just like that. Also this little one. There we go. And I think, no, one more. Back here, can you see that? Get a little bit more of that. Anyways. Now that is definitely it. So we've got some very cool movement in that trunk. It comes up, goes right, up, goes right, up. And this new leader I've got goes to the right. With some more growth branching off. I think that's a pretty cool looking tree. Considering I'm only about two years into my bonsai journey. That's my prized possession right now. Even it's still in training. Everything I have is in training. So let's see how it goes over the next few years. So it's May 22nd today, and I finally had my first pawpaw seedling jump out of its seed. There's the first, first little leaves on it there. It's looking pretty good where the seed was buried in it, it just slowly came up through time. It's interesting. Cool. There's one, the rest of them are all coming above the surface of the soil now. So they're all gonna probably drop their seeds the same way in the next couple days. Pretty cool, I'm excited about these little trees. Hopefully I'll get some fruit out of them one day maybe in a decade. We'll see. Everything else is looking great. Got some new leaves coming out of the ficus, tiger bark ficus there. These scorched leaves haven't fallen off. I pulled some of them off, but everything's looking okay. Crown of thorns. Everything else. It's morning. I haven't watered them yet, but I'll be doing that right away. This little rows of Sharon's are looking okay. This one, the leaves are all crumpling up and falling off, but it's looking okay. Had a few others die off. That's all right. I think this dogwood shoot, that sucker there is extending a little bit. It wasn't that long, a couple days ago. 
So today, May 22nd, I noticed something interesting on the quince tree here. Pretty sure those are fruit forming on pollinated flowers. You can see that that's what the flower looks like originally. This one didn't pop open for some reason. And it's got a small bud, but these ones have become really pronounced and swelled up. So hopefully that means they were pollinated and we'll get fruit off of this thing. I just chopped a dead stem off these roses here. Dead trunk, but you can see there's a new one coming up there. And up here, it, all of this from right down there all of this probably 50 centimeters of new growth just in the last few weeks it's again may 22nd today you can see where i pruned it in late winter and then all the growth that has come out I don't think I've filmed these oaks since they, since they popped out of the ground, but they've been taken off like crazy. Stretching up to the light. They're pretty shaded out by all these maple leaves. There's only two maples alive in there. Third one's died off, I'm pretty sure. Nothing's come out of it. But I'm glad those oaks are filling the space. And there's actually a fourth one coming out under there. The rocks did the trick and stopped the squirrels from coming in and getting them. So I'm happy with that. Here's the big grapevine from on top of the archway here. This plant has absolutely exploded. There's growth everywhere. You can see there's grapes forming all over the place. I don't think I ever filmed the after pruning video, but I pruned the crap out of this thing. Kept the long main vines and just pruned it back to the first one or two nodes at each branch. And it's really responded well taken off as you can see this is a good 50 60 centimeters at least of growth in the last few weeks alone and just along this one branch there's one two clusters of grapes growing on every new not branch but vine I guess pretty much two clusters on each vine, gonna get tons of grapes this year. Can't wait. 